Six insects infest a local apartment and attack emergency crews when they respond to the scene. It happened in a room at the J.C. Towers last night. Well, that's where Chattanooga firefighters found a man needing medical help laying amongst bugs. News Channel 9's Karen Zaklak explains that the pests bit several firefighters as well. Karen. Kim and Calvin, that's right. Tonight, the fire department is busy disinfecting their truck and their gear and taking steps to make sure bugs don't attack their crews again. The Quinn 2 fire truck now sits out of service with yellow tape across the door and signs warning that it's contaminated inside. But it wasn't hazardous materials that the crew encountered. Instead, it was a hazardous amount of bugs. To have infestations like this for where people are reporting bites is really rare for the fire department. Fire Chief Randy Parker tells us three of their firefighters got bit on their legs when the bugs traveled up under their turnout gear last night. We're told the patient they were helping in a room here at J.C. Towers was covered in them. They can transfer fairly easy. I mean, when you walk, you know, they can get on your shoe or their, or, and then it's just transmitted up to their leg and they can be easily moved from place to place. So that's why we wanted to put the truck out of service and get them new equipment and gear last night. The truck is now waiting to be disinfected while the gear has been sent out to be cleaned. As for JC Towers, we're told it's getting cleaned out today as well. We did speak with a manager here at JC Towers. He says the bed bugs in the room last night were a bad case. He says it's a problem they've been fighting for several months and have tried many different measures to get the bugs out. The manager says they've even removed all of the furniture from the lobby and they exterminate every room that's infected but can't seem to get rid of the pesky pests. It's a problem we've seen growing in our area recently. Just last week, a guest at the Days Inn in Eastridge shot this video of bed bugs in her room. Bugs, the fire department is now battling as well as the chief brings in extra suits and spray to the fire trucks servicing that area. We are getting some protective coveralls for them to wear and some bug spray and that kind of things that will be issued out to them today. Chief Parker says the incident didn't cost much financially, but it is a growing concern for firefighters. The department also sent a pest control company to inspect Fire Station 1. They tell us the truck should be back in service in the next few days. Kim. Karen, thank you so much for that update.